How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to set up your new Amazon Fire HD 10 tablet. And this is real basic. We're just going to walk you through the settings, how to set it up so that it's perfect just for how you want to use it. So first things first, um, you do have to choose your language. Now what I do recommend is uh, go down to the bottom here and you have an option that is for text size. And um, we can go ahead and change this basically to select a larger size. And this is just really good just for the initial setup. And then you can obviously change it later in the regular settings, but uh, for the sake of this video, it'll make it easier for you guys to see everything. So there that is. And so once we selected that, we're gonna hit continue. And this first setting is gonna ask you, hey, choose your Wi-Fi network. And obviously because that's what everything functions under so we're gonna do that first. So you're gonna find your Wi-Fi um, network in this list here. And mine is Larry H. Parker, which is kind of a running joke. So tap on Larry H. Parker. You're gonna put in your password. Password is Yo Lamo Espanol. Just because he always says that at the end of his commercials now. I thought it was kind of funny. So put your password in, you're gonna hit connect and give it a second to connect. Let it load. And so there is a software update. So um, this software update can take, um, it can be quick or it could take a long time depending on how fast your internet connection is. So uh, you wanna just kinda sit back, let it do its thing. It does have to again, download the update it does have to restart the tablet and then install it. So give yourself about five or seven minutes and let it follow through the whole process and then it'll take you to another screen where it'll give you more directions. So we'll get back to you as soon as we get to the next direction screen. All right, so that long update finally completed and now we're at the point where you start to register your Kindle now, uh, this is if you have an Amazon account. Uh, I definitely highly recommend you set one up because to download the apps and music and movies and all the fun stuff, you will need an account. Um, if you do not have one, there is an option right here that says new to Amazon, start here, and you can create your account uh, right now, basically. So uh, I'm going to skip this part for now and we're just going to jump right to the bottom. You do have an option that says, hey, can complete setup later. You can go back and set this up. But if you just want to just get right to using the tablet, then you would come down here to complete setup later. And they'll let you know the fire must be registered to buy books, music, videos, apps. So that's kind of the, the downside is you can skip it. But if you do skip it, then that means you can't download anything on the tablet. You can basically search the web. Uh, and that's about it for now. So actually, I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and cancel that. And I'm going to slide back up to the top. I'm going to keep it right here and just put my information in first because I'm sure you guys don't care what my login information is. So um, let's get that in there. And we'll submit that in uno momento. Send that right up just like that. And hit continue. And now it'll begin to register your fire. Again, for you, if you don't have an account, just set one up, take a few minutes, it's totally worth it. Uh, make sure your time is set to the correct time zone, Pacific Daylight Time. It should use your Wi-Fi uh, information to set this up for you, so not too much thought behind there. And then we come down to the bottom, continue. All right, and so if you have had other Kindles uh, or other Amazon tablets, uh, they will show up in here and I can actually restore it to the backup from my other Amazon Fire tablet. But for now, I'm just gonna hit do not restore. There we go, had to hit it a couple of times if you know what I mean. 
All right, so after this step, uh, it should take you right to your home screen. Not yet. Actually, so you do get a couple options under here, excuse me. So these options are to set it up for multi-users. So this might be a device you bought for your family, for you guys to share. And if so, you can set up multiple profiles. So you can have a child profile, or you can have a, uh, another adult profile. Uh, or you can just say, hey, I only want to set it up for me. And in that case, you're going to just come right down to the bottom. And we're going to hit continue. And go on to the next screen. Now this next screen is going to be um, setting up the child profile. I, don't think, I think I hit the wrong thing, so let's hit back here. You actually want to tap not now first. Got to read. Hit continue. And then it's going to ask you to enable uh, location services. This is good sometimes. Certain things on the internet, uh, if it has your location, it does make it a little bit easier. The only problem with this is this can be a battery drainer, so you got to be careful with this. I'm going to go ahead and hit no thanks for now. And finally, this option is for backup and saving. And so you can set it to backup and um, restore basically all your, your website, um, the sites you've been to, your emails, your settings, Amazon um, passwords, photos, all that good stuff. I would say set this up because this definitely helps. Just, you know, you may take a picture on there and somebody steals it or whatever. It, all your information is basically saved in Amazon's cloud. So it also makes it easier when you purchase uh, other Amazon tablets because, again, you can just restore it from one of those older backups. So uh, those are automatically checked, yes, in the orange. Come down the bottom here and hit continue. And last thing is they ask you if you want to connect into your social media. So if you have a Facebook or a Twitter or Goodreads, you can connect that right here. I'm going to skip that and just hit continue. And the last thing is they do offer coverage. So if you do want to purchase Amazon's extended uh, accidental protection, you can get this. So if you were to drop it or spill something on it, have some type of accident like that, you can actually get it fixed right through Amazon. So again, accidental coverage, liquid, falls, pets. <laughs> wow, pets, that's crazy. I wonder what the extent that is. Your dog goes, by, goes and bites it. I wonder if they're going to cover that. Um, no deductible, which is pretty awesome, up to three devices. So you basically pay one time $45.99, and you're good to go. I'm going to decline that for now and just say, hey, no thanks. That's not bad, 45 bucks. This tablet does run about $230, so... Um, that's about a fourth, less than a fourth of what the tablet costs, so it's not too bad of a deal right there. And last thing is I give you a little tutorial here, and just kind of walk you through where everything is. So, home screen, we got our content pages, our different options. You can switch just by swiping left and right makes it really easy as well you can scroll the page so you can actually scroll up and down which makes it really cool you don't have to go into a certain section to to look at things you can just look at it all from the home screen which is really cool and there is a library and store section right there access to items you've already bought or downloaded pretty simple again library right up here navigation bar that's at the bottom here so back button home and this is going to be a quick uh, for recent apps quick settings access notifications you're going to swipe down from the top to get those settings and that's it we're done officially your fire hd 10 or amazon kindle whatever you want to call it is set up hope you guys found this helpful we try to be as thorough as possible not leave anything out Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if you did find it helpful. Make sure you also subscribe to HD Tech Videos and have a good one.